My name is Austin Meyer. I'm Zoe Novick. And I'm Malika Murphy-Sierra. And together we are reporters here in the streets of Berkeley, California on October 31st. And we are trying to figure out what is going on with all these characters, scary, goofy, funny, intimidating. We're going to pull some aside, do some interviews to see if we can see what is going on in this strange town. I am here with a U.S. Navy SEAL. Eleven from Stranger Things. So we have Elsa here. Crow. Vampire. Witch Skeleton. Street Fighter. Jesse Pinkman. Cat. Ninja. Clown. Hermione Granger. Corella Deville and a Tiger. Black Cats That Are Angels. Unicorn. Snow White. Connor. Elmo. Peapod. Ninja Turtle. Bioluminescent Jellyfish. Buzz Lightyear. Naruto. Willy Wonka. Lost Soul and a Pet Pig. Mozart. Forest Sprite. Zombie Cheerleader. Men in Black. Zombie Bride. Jaguar. Tiger. Baguette. Ninja. Jason. Slayer. Corpse Member. Murderer Chicken. Grandpa. Happy Gilmore, Ranch Dressing, Black Minato, and the Black Itachi. Norman Bates with Harley Quinn, yet another Harley Quinn. Cher and Dion, A Monkey and Joe, Barnacle Boy, Velma, Victoria, Patrick Star, Emily Dickinson, Stormtrooper, Mandalorian, Gorilla, Tom Cruise, Princess Tiana, and Charlotte. Hunter, I'm vegan, so this is going to be an interesting conversation here. Whoa, you're just not dropping your knife near me. Why don't you tell us who you are? Listen, Alistair. <laughs> okay, but we're gonna, pre- we're gonna pretend. <laughs> yeah, well, you remember we're gonna pretend like you're not actually Alistair and Quentin, okay? Baguette, how did you become so tasty? Um, I think it was my baker. I think my baker baked me very well. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I was made out of very nice dough, so I think that as, And I was baked with it in a very, very nice oven. How does it feel to be a skeleton made of just bones? It feels good because um, we could, we like never die because we are already dead. I like being a grandpa because um, you get to, um, you get to like, like yell at people because because you're old and senile and people people don't yell at you. Ninja Turtle, how do you spend your day? Um, I like playing checkers. Okay. I like building stuff. How young do turtles learn how to play checkers? Six to, to ten. Tell me about your favorite adventure that you've had at Hogwarts this year. My favorite adventure is watching the Triwizard Tournament and helping Harry Potter try to figure out how to breathe underwater. (gasps) Can you describe to our audience what it is that you do? No comment. No comment. No comment. All right, this is going to be a thrilling interview. Dinosaur, can you tell us what type of dinosaur you are? Uh, a triceratops. Those are my favorite dinosaurs in the whole world. What do you think about the movie Jurassic Park? Uh, I have seen a movie about dinosaurs, I think. And what about maybe The Land Before Time? I don't know. How do you feel about uh, comets, meteors, those kind of things? Yeah, they feel, I, sometimes I make pictures. Sometimes you make pictures. It kind of helps you process your feelings? Or, yeah. Yeah. And how do you feel when someone comes into the, to the bakery and, and picks you off the counter? Is that something that you feel a lot of pride in? Or is that something where you're, you're scared and sad to leave your friends? I feel, I feel very proud about that because a baguette's biggest honor is being picked as the baguette that somebody wants. It means you can prove yourself to the baguette world that you are a tasty and crunchy baguette. You run a hotel. Um, do you have any tips out there for people trying to start their own business or, or run, a, run a hotel like you do? Well, it's hard to say. Um, there's so much pressure, sorry. Uh, I like to welcome the customers. Warm welcomes. Yeah. Warm welcomes. Yeah. Make sure they have a nice, cozy place to get into. Um, nice hot shower going. That's usually how I get them in the mood. <laughs> Do you actually want to eat us alive humans? No. You're more like eating vegetables and that kind of thing, like vegan zombies? Yeah. Perfect. 
What is it like to be a cat? You go down to drink out of a bowl with, to get water and you go, chase treats and you chase mice. Well, I kind of like the tail and it's a bit nice and juicy. The tail. The tail is the juiciest part of a mouse for sure. Sometimes people are scared of being stung by jellyfish. What do you want to tell people about that? That usually it's not on purpose. Usually it's just uh, humans who get too close or other animals that get too close. And it's more of a reflex than us actually wanting to sting humans. What is it that you do as a robot? Do you have a robotic function? Mm, yes. Yes. And what is that function? Uh, falling down. Let's make sure you're okay here. Okay, here we go. Can you tell me um, one secret that you've learned from the witch world that us muggles might not know? Magic comes in all shapes and sizes. When I was getting married, my fiance killed me. And so ever since, um, I've been like depressed. I bet. How does that make you feel about just the institution of marriage in general? Um, nervous, um, scared, trying to watch out to see if there's anything that like poison the food or something. Have your guard up a little bit more. Yeah. Elsa, I was wondering how you feel about being a, a princess. I really like it now. You like it now? What about before? What did you feel about it before? Not really interesting. I thought that it would be pretty itchy, but now I don't really mind it. I am a poet. I think a good poem is something that people can relate to. Maybe not everyone, but people can get something out of. What's it like to have all this media now around your life? What's that like? I think, I mean, fame is a fickle food, and it's, it's not for everyone and often it's not for me and it's not what I want but I think overall I would like my poems to be known. How does it feel to be endangered? Uh, I don't care. You don't care? <laughs> you gotta spread the word Ash. I make chocolate. The best chocolate in the world. <laughs> All right cow. We have a cow jumping in. Okay. Is there anything else you'd like the audience to know about what a triceratops life is like? Uh, their life is after they die, and that's how their bones count now. Their life, and then they die, and that's how their bones are counted. I got good at it because I did practicing, did it again and again, eventually getting sophisticated with my melodies, from a solo harpsichord or violin, small violin stuff, to more like symphonies and operas. And do you feel like people should be eating baguettes plain, or do you advocate for people to uh, put something on the baguette? Um, as far as that goes, I'd say I'd let anybody eat their baguette the way they would choose because part of the baguette is experience is choosing how you want to eat your baguette. Do you have any breakup advice? Uh, well, there's only three steps. One, be strong. Two, remember it's all about you. And three, burn down anybody who gets in your way or shoot them or blow them up or strangle them or cut their throats open. You know, it's, it's all the same. Easy. Three-step process to get over any breakup. Make sure you never get caught. What are some of your tips for not getting caught? I have a different ID every year. Different ID every single year. That's awesome. Well, you must go to the DMV a lot, huh? Yeah. When I got out of high school, my teacher came up to me. My high school teacher, uh, my science teacher, he said, why don't we cook together? And you do the selling. And Jesse, do you have any future plans to go to university or um, take the LSAT maybe one day, something like that? Oh no, I'm too old, yo. I'm too old. You're never too old to follow your dreams. Never. Well, yeah. back in my day, there weren't any phones or computers. And I think technology has, has grown greatly over the years and centuries. Over the centuries, you've been alive for centuries? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it's good to be here. I'm Gandalf after hours. Shave the beard, grab myself an ale, and figured I would explore this evening because I'm, I'm off work. But it's not easy. You see me riding around on horseback. Do they give me old Gandalf a saddle? No. I have all the answers. They have none. And yet I'm always getting 
best supporting actor. Come on now. Have you ever eaten a kid before? I wish I could eat my two little brothers because they're annoying, but I didn't. <laughs> I I think the brothers might have heard that remark. What's the biggest misconception about tigers? Rawr! And let's let's get the uh, the English uh, kind of dialogue that's playing out in your head. I feel like I'm largely misunderstood. I have a lot of really big, deep feelings, and nobody wants to hear about them. They're like, "Oh, run, jump!" That's not me. That's my, my. There's people that do that, but it's not. I have more going on. We have lots of playtime to do, and we eat special unicorn food, kind of like marshmallows and candies and like lemonade. Wow, that sounds really yummy and nutritious. How are you doing tonight, Elmo? Oh, my dish, my dish is dark because it's, it's, it's early. I've heard that vampires, they're into like this sucking blood thing. Is that true? And, and if so, can you explain a bit about how that works? No. It's, uh, uh, false, <laughs> completely untrue. <laughs> the history of vampires debunked here, right now. Uh, what is it like to be a ninja? It's really hard. You have to be really brave. But when you get through it, you figure out it's really fun. Can you show us a kick? Wow. I kind of want to replicate it. And can you show me how you turn invisible? Whoa. Where is he? Wait, can you turn back? Oh, there you are, Ninja Turtle. I thought I lost you for a second. Um, what else? I'm good. So a lot of people think, hey, you know what? Violence is bad. There's no reason to fight. There's no reason to have fighter planes. What would you say to those people? Blowing up a plane in general is not very fun, but say if somebody attacked you, what would you do? Yeah, what would you do? Well, I'd fight back. If you just show them your power, they'll make back down. Wow. That is poignant. We, we really enjoy sports, and I don't think many people understand that, so I'm here to broadcast that to the world. Oh, my favorite sport is football, or as you Americans call it, soccer. What does your meow sound like when you're sad? And what does your meow sound like when you're jealous? And what does your meow sound like when you're inspired? Where did the first baguette originate? I don't know, I'm part of like the 74th generation of baguettes, so I have no idea to be honest. Our baguette history books didn't teach us that, so, you know. <laughs> what age do you start going to baguette school? Can you tell me a little bit more about baguette school? Um, usually it's like right when you're baked, you, you get put into baguette school and you learn about how to be a delicious baguette there. Do you, does it ever get lonely to be the last dinosaur standing? Yeah. Yeah? How do you feel like you deal with that loneliness? I sometimes I get lost, uh, but key, uh, I have a kitty named Bootsy. Sometimes you get lost, but you have a you have a kitty named Bootsy. Yeah, he sort of knows the way home. Yeah, how did people used to dance when you were back in high school? Can you show us some moves? Now that, yeah. You know, there are a lot of people who look up to you as a Ninja Turtle, a lot of people who are inspired by you. What do you want to say to all those people watching? You should be a good helper and clean up. <laughs> Thank you. What's your favorite thing about being Elmo? Um, I'm Elmo. You're Elmo, yeah. <laughs> she might be the... the I am <laughs> Okay, say thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Oh, no <laughs> okay, bye. Happy Halloween. <laughs>